Hello beautiful people, hope you guys are doing it. And today in this video, we are gonna get to know how to find paid internships and that too remotely. So guys, what is the, the main reason of making this kind of video? Because previously I'm getting a lot of comments. Bro, can you please make a video on related to how to find kind of paid internships and that too remotely. And guys, uh, finding a, a internships is bit tough but that two uh, paid internships in first or second year of BTEC life is a kind of challenging thing but today in this video I'm gonna show you clearly how you need to find a kind of remote and paid internships and how to apply for those and how to get prepared for getting selection of those kind of internships so today in this video I'm gonna discuss all these and guys further you need to watch this particular video completely so that you can aren't able to miss each and every valuable point that I'm gonna share from my experience on getting and setting with a lot of paid internships so guys without wasting any time let's get into it Hey guys welcome back so as you can see here this is my linkedin profile and this is my internship portal so guys before applying to any kind of internship the first and main thing was you need to build a strong portfolio or a strong resume for attracting a lot of recruiters who are looking out for different kinds of interns so guys uh, the main here the challenging thing was finding a paid internship so uh, getting a paid internship in first or second year itself is a kind of bit uh, tough because most of the paid uh, program paid internship programs are uh, mostly demand you uh, in case of uh, they want really kind of best employee who are previously already in experience nearly one or two years so that is the main problem which our students are facing uh, like me and like you uh, previous in first or second year but uh, if you show, if you able to show them a kind of strong linkedin or strong resume that you have so that they can able to give you any kind of internship even though it was paid or unpaid and it was straight away in front of you so first of, that, first of all we look into the linkedin program so guys linkedin is not just a kind of community where you can get connected to a lot of people okay but it's a kind of uh, a kind of job portal also where you can find a lot of remote and unpaid internship in world wide and you can apply on your interest so let's get into the particular job portal I mean job section of the LinkedIn so for a uh, first of all after getting into the like before getting into this particular job port section you need to build your strong LinkedIn profile so, so like the thing was uh, like as you can see here let's get uh, to my profile so as you can see I'm, uh, I have mentioned a kind of heading like what actually I am doing and what actually I am gonna do a kind of simple one or two sentence and everything like um, uh, your present uh, like it's not about any kind of internship like your present experience means if you are a part of any kind of open source activities or any kind of thing so guys uh, start being a part of any kind of open source programs like uh, microsoft student partner gsoc a lot of things because previously i made a lot of videos regarding how to apply different kinds of internship and how to being a part of open source activities if you haven't checked out those kind of videos all links on the description or else you can share uh, find all the uh, videos on my channel just get back to it and refer it so guys uh, you can men uh, mention any kind of thing in the experience like um, if you are a part of any kind of club you know in your university or else if you are part of any kind of ngo or any kind of technical or non-technical related activities you can just mention it here so that is not able like that can able to show your passion towards your uh, work and interest towards your work so most of the recruiters will focus on this kind of experience area in the linkedin profile for getting self of any kind of uh, uh, internships so after mentioning the experience you can get to the particular education background you can mention your university or your college details here completely and then license or certificates if you have done any kind of previous certificates you can mention it here not at all problem and then if you have any like if you have any kind of skills and endorse endorsements from your friends or else any kind of activities you can also happily mention it here after mentioning each and everything you need to redirect to the particular job section in the LinkedIn profile so before applying to the job section first of all uh, see the what actually the requirements the particular internship that they are demanding because uh, for finding internships or job there is another great website called internship it's a kind of great platform for uh, getting and searching for any kind of internship for college students it is paid or unpaid and in my case uh, both linkedin and internship will play a lot of major role in finding in my internships and like you also and guys first of all let's get to the your interest for suppose if you want to do internship in web development or any kind of app development ios app development any kind of thing just search your interest in my case i want to do internship in the phase of data science research and uh, computer vision based part i will search a kind of internship regarding that because the thing was previously I already searched for it so as you can see here it recommends me the particular internship so for getting a remote internship you need to uh, check the remote option here tick so that it will only show you the remote 
internship like the internship which they are offering remotely so i can found a lot of internship uh, from chegg uh, from lot of different companies from uh, a lot of different places from the world so i can uh, select one which which will really suits my profile and i can uh, set this kind of um, internship and try to apply for it and try to uh, crack the inter interviews because um, inter uh, linkedin is a great platform where you can explore to n number of opportunities guys and uh, if you got selected for any kind of interview uh, just try to give your best even though the particular uh, internship is recommending a kind of skills that you are not skilled at try to apply for it even though if you are not fit for it try to apply for it just go for it even though if you are not fit because that is a chance that is a scope where you can learn the things and where you can get exposure to the things okay don't even hesitate to apply any kind of job or internships okay that is a main problem for a lot of people who are facing okay they are try to apply a kind of internships from internship or linkedin and they are facing a problem that they are uh, demanding a kind of skills that are related to uh, like uh, machine learning deep neural networks uh, in first year of student itself like in first year itself so guys uh, uh, try to just go for it and try to give your best like just tell me that i am not skilled in this part but if you give me a kind of chance i will definitely get into it and i will definitely uh, try to learn the things and parallel work on it it will really gives you your confidence your uh, attitude and your passion towards your work and guys later uh, finishing each and every internship uh, like don't uh, stop like don't stuck on applying one or two internship try to apply n number of internship a possible internship that you can even though it is a 100 or 200 per day it's up to you okay and later after finishing of this particular degree but there is a and the get preferred as i said before internship so first of all let's get to the my like the internship on main page so in indian salon there's a as i said before there are n number of opportunities like unpaid and paid internships let's get to it one so first um internships internships okay i need a kind of internship so in indian salon there is a a uh, lot of facilities that you can select your work location or work from home or any kind of thing if you really want to uh, work from home you can take the particular work from home option and then later you can uh, select the category that you are interested in and uh, for suppose uh, uh, i am interested in obviously data science and machine learning i will mark those kind of things like machine learning uh, okay and i will set my limit like uh, minimum criteria of 8000 per month it will only uh, recommend me those kind of internships so that i can uh, apply for it so as you can see the company bp rice private limited offering a data analytics internship 3 months 10 to 12000 per month okay that is work from home so guys if you want to uh, work in full time and in your locality just try to un untick the particular work from home location and try to uh, search for your location that you are presently living and i mostly prefer to work from home only because it will really helpful for me to manage my university works and my internship works and guys try to look for different kinds of possibilities and opportunities that you are finding and try to apply for it so guys for applying different kinds of internship in internship i have made a previously lot of intern uh, videos in my particular internship playlist in my channel where i am clearly explaining how you need to what the exact tips and strategies that you need to apply for getting selected in the particular internship internship because most of the students are not able to uh, getting even a getting into even a first round of internship if from internship even though they are applying uh, 10 or 20 internships but in previous videos i have mentioned a lot of n number of tick tricks and tips that you need to apply in your internship resume to getting out from the crowd and uh, getting selected to any kind of paid or unpaid internship that you are interested in so guys in this way you can able to crack uh, get any kind of um, paid remote internships in your bachelor life and which will really helpful for you to boost your resume and uh, stay standing out from the cold at the time of placements so guys i hope this particular video is really really helpful for you and guys uh, if you like the video please try to share the video to your friends who are also trying to find internships in your bachelor life which are paid and remote will and guys i hope this particular video is really really helpful for you that's it for today see you in the next video until then keep smiling beautiful people send the rocks across the